Hello, Mrs Talkington here. I'm going to show you how to draw Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf. Let's make a start. We're going to draw the wolf on this side, hiding in the trees, and then we're going to draw Little Red Riding Hood on this side. So let's start with the wolf. He's the same wolf that we've drawn for the three little pigs. So let's have us make a start. I'm going to start with the top of his face, and then we're going to go round for his nose. I'll put his nose on the end and we're going to make it look shiny. So we're going to leave a little circle here. I'm going to colour all of that in black. There we go. And then we're going to draw his sharp teeth. Going down here. All the way up to the top. And we're going to draw his bottom of his mouth. So draw a line coming out here and round. And then we're going to draw his ears. Are we ready? Let's draw a pointy ear going up that way. And then we're going to draw some zigzags for his fur. And then we're going to draw another big ear sticking up that way. And then some spiky fur going round there to make it look like the back of his head. Now we need to do those beady eyes. So there's triangles, they're pointy at the top. Now I've left the bottoms because we're going to do the two black eyes overhanging the edge. So I'm going to do the black bits first and again I'm going to leave a white bit at the top. And another one there. And then I'm going to join them up. Right, I'm just going to stop there because I need a new black pen. Let's carry on that zigzag on his head and do some fur under his chin. Right, now we're ready. Let's put some trees. So we're going to have him poking out from behind a tree. So we're going to put a long line here, which is going to come down. There we go. So it looks like he's poking out from behind the tree. And we'll do some wibbly lines like on a wood of a tree. And then we'll do another one here. That's it. Let's do an obly bit, like the knot in a piece of wood. Let's do another one down here. There we go. And then we can put his tail sticking out the back. Let's do a little bit more, a few more pieces of bark and then we'll put his tail coming out and his spiky tail there he is okay so there you've got your wolf now we're going to start with little red riding hood over here who's walking through the woods so we're going to start with her hood on the top and we're going to start with a big triangle shape so we're going to, I'm going to put a little dot at the top and I'm going to put a little line at the bottom and I'm going to join it all up in like a, it's like a pointy circle. It's a bit of a strange shape. You'll see what I mean when I do it. So I'm going to join this up this side to make a point. And I'm going to go the same another way. So it's like an upside down heart, I suppose. And then we're going to join it across here to make her hood. And there she is. And then we're going to do her face in the middle. And we'll finish off the hood when we know where the hair is to make sure that the lines don't go in the way. So I'm going to draw her face coming round this way and the same this way. And then I'll join it up in the middle. Right, let's do her hair. So I'm going to do a big zigzag fringe. Go around, around her face and then a wibbly line the other side. Let's put her two little eyes in. One, two, I'll do a button nose and a little smile. We could even do a little shocked face because she's just seen the wolf. You decide. And we'll do a little smile for her. And do her high lashes hiding underneath. There we are, poking up from a fringe. There we go. Seems quite happy walking through. Now let's finish her ponytails. I'm going to put a couple of ribbons in her hair. So let's draw a little square there and a little square there. And I'm going to draw that heart shape on that side. 
and heart shape on that side and the same on there heart up there upside down heart there we've got the bows so then we know where her ponytails are going to come through so we're going to do some curly lines we can see her ponytails coming out and the same on this side there we go so we've got now we know where her hood's going to go and so we can finish that line off going into there so it doesn't get in the way I'm poking right under there and the same one in here maybe join her hair up together okay so we've got her face let's start with her red her red hood so we've got a hood and then the rest of her cape so let's do a big button here the two bits in the middle for the button and where it's going to fasten up it's going to go on that side and then that side and we're going to make it go around here i'm going to go down across and then because it's going to be behind the wolf which is why we drew the wolf first go behind his nose here we go and the same the other side so let's go down that way and out from the hair there we go and then we're going to put her dress underneath so a little bit like goldilocks's dress was join it up in the middle we go put the frilly bit on the bottom the bumpy line and, and let's see if I do another little line make it a little bit different to the one we've done before now in the story remember little red riding hood was on her way to see her grandma and she was taking a basket of cakes and apples so we're going to draw the basket in the middle so we'll draw our hands first because they're going to go on top of the basket and then we'll draw the basket so it looks like she's holding it. So we're going to draw two shapes either side, they're her sleeves. Then we're going to do her little hands holding the basket. Now we know where the basket goes so we can draw a rainbow shape for the handle. And then we can do another rainbow shape for the bottom for the basket where the fruit's inside. And then we'll do the basket like we did. Do you remember a long time ago we did a hot air balloon? And we do little lines on it to make it look like it was made of sticks. And we stagger those lines again to make it look like it's woven. So that's how baskets are made. There we go. Now, I've left the middle bit empty because I'm going to draw the apples and the cake in. And then I'm going to draw the rest in. So let's draw an apple. On that side, let's draw the stalk. And maybe she would draw a little leaf on it because it's just come off the, the tree. And then she would draw a little cupcake. Some lines. And then a cake. And she put a cherry on the top. There we go. Now we can draw the back of the basket so we know where that goes. So we'll just draw a line on the back. Okay, and then I'm going to draw some diagonal lines. So it looks like the handle. And the same on this, on the front here. There we go, and the same in the back there. Okay, so we've got an apple and a cake. We've got our hands in. I'm going to do the top of her dress now. I'm going to draw two upside down rainbows and some matching lace on the edge. And the same on there. There we go. Now she just needs some legs so she can stand up. You're right. Well, I'm going to do the same legs as I did for Goldilocks. So I'm going to do some bendy legs. I'm going to draw one leg. Oops. My pen's not working very well today. Coming round that way. And another leg going this way. There we go. Now I'm going to put some, some shoes on her. And a, bit of a line round there and a line round there. I'm going to draw a little upside down door shape. And then I'm going to do her little buckles. The dot and the dot there, join that line over, and then I'm going to put some dots on the front for a bit of decoration on her shoes. And I'm going to give her some stripy socks. I'm going to do a curvy shape, so her legs are curves. There we go. Have I missed anything out? Oh, that's right. Now we're ready to put the bit of the cape going behind her dress. And I think she's finished. We could add some 
flowers on the floor. Because I think in the story she picked some flowers for her grandma on the way, didn't she? And some growing on the ground. And there could be some grown up tall like we've done by the side of the river. We had some flowers growing, didn't we? And I think we had some flowers on the three little pigs as well. Should we do some taller ones? Should we draw those tulip shaped ones again? They're like a broken egg. There they are. And some leaves. You could do some birds, you could do more trees in the background. And there you have it. Little Red Riding Hood on her way to see Grandma and encountering the big bad wolf. I hope you enjoy your pictures and I look forward to seeing them when you send them in to me. Well done.